YouTubers and fellow ham radio enthusiasts. I've got another project I've got on order. I'll show you a few details of it in this video, but there's been lots of people have bought them and found problems with assembling them. So it's a, an ATU QRP kit and um, very low cost. Today, my QRP manual aerial tuning unit arrived. It's a kit, very low cost kit. It was cheaper to buy the kit than the individual components. And it's arrived, so I'm going to take it out of its bag. I can get it out. There we go. Let's push that to one side. And uh, it's all inside here. It's a nice box enclosure. Smaller than that, I thought. I'm going to take the corner screws out. And it should reveal what's inside. I think everything's packed inside. Just one screw. This is exactly how it came, how it comes. It comes in obviously out of packaging. Right. That's it. Okay, there we go. It's a it's a waterproof box. You can see it gets a seal in there. And then here's the components. Uh, I'll get them out of the bag so we can have a look. In these are all the templates and stickers for the outer case. Then in the bottom is some more screws for the case, the waterproof seal and some wire, as well as the, the wire for winding the um, ballon or cores ferrite cores but I'll get it out of its box and I'll lay it out so you can see what's in it okay apologize for the lighting in here this is the kit laid out so we've got the box and the templates for cutting holes wire BNT connectors which I'll probably change to SO239 screws, resistors, switch, ferrite ring and the small one, the switch and the circuit board. You'll notice there's no assembly instructions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it partly together, like put the nuts and washers on the connectors and the washers on there and bolts on the switch and the, a lot of the fixings so I don't lose them so that's fairly straightforward to do and then I'm going to assemble the circuit board which is basically all these components and the switch so I'll just do that so instantly you can see when I've assembled the nuts and bolts and things like that in the right places the kit contents is reduced straight away so next is to put the items onto the circuit board and then do the soldering okay that's quite a lot of the components mounted on the board they were fairly straightforward one thing is wrong um, where it says here there's two turns and out that should be five and where it says five that's two so these are reverse number of turns so and there's the ferrite so I've got to do the winding that's, that's two turns there and five turns there according to the circuit diagram I've got on my phone Okay, most of the components are soldered onto the circuit board now. Apologise for the poor lighting. I haven't put the LED on there because I don't know how high it needs to go through the hole and in the case. And um, I'll bring this over into the light here. Hopefully you can see it better. Okay, 
So these windings are reversed. Where it says it's two turns, it's five turns, etc. on the board. The, the most turns are nearest this capacitor. Which will be five turns going through the core. One, two, three, four, five, and two on the primary, five on the secondary. And the secondary winding goes to the capacitor and it goes to the rectifier diode or signal diode. These resistors are 51 ohm and that resistor there is in series with the LED. I think it's a 1K from memory. And uh, But there's very little information on these to make so I hope that fully this helps this is part one of the low-cost manual QRP aerial tuner